Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Wendy and if this is your first time here, hello, how are you? So pleased to have you here today. If you have not subscribed yet and you're into yoga, fitness, and lifestyle videos, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And while you're at it, click that little bell icon to be notified every time I post, which is several times a week. So I've been so excited lately. It is finally feeling like summer. I know it's August. Uh, we have like a month of summer left, but finally I've been heading out to the lake. I've been getting some sun. I've been getting some water time in. I love to swim. So I've been going to the lake that's near me and it has been a grand old time. So with all of those activities comes a certain amount of soreness. So today's session will be a little mini stretch that we can do generally at any time of the day, but I was thinking kind of a midday stretch so that we can work out all of our kinks so that the rest of our evening is beautiful, the rest of our day goes smoothly. So for this session, we won't need any props. We're good as we are, and we'll just go ahead and get started on our backs. So we're going to plant our feet down, roll back. Just go ahead and start here. We're going to start with a little pre-Pilates exercise. So just make sure that your shoulder blades are rolled underneath you. Palms are going to be flipped up. Our arms are going to be lifted off the ground, but our fingertips are going to be dragging along the ground, if that makes sense. So with this, one of our arms is going to go up. One of our arms is going to go down. Try to keep the shoulder away from the ear. And then we'll switch. Just gonna stay looking up. So we're just gonna notice our shoulder flexibility. Just continue to switch here back and forth. We can take this slow. We can go a little bit faster. Just take this at whatever pace feels right for you today. All right, one more time to either side. We're gonna go ahead and add on. So now whatever arm is down, we're just gonna gaze towards that shoulder. So as we switch the arms, we're going to switch the gaze. Switch the arms, switch the gaze, switch the arms, switch the gaze. So now we're going to add the legs, allow the legs to fall over to the opposite side of the gaze. And knees back up to the ceiling and switch. Knees to the ceiling and switch. So just kind of getting our whole body into it progressively. Just continue to switch side to side. You can inhale as you come towards center. Exhale as you twist. Let's do one more each side. And then come back through center. Let's send our right leg up to the sky. Flex the foot. Cross the ankle over the thigh. We can stay here just pressing into our knee to give ourselves an opening. Or we can interlace our fingers behind the left thigh, maybe on top of the left shin. Choose whatever feels good for you here. Little reclined pigeon or figure four pose, depending on the teacher. I notice there's a lot of different names for a lot of different uh, asana or yoga poses, and that's okay. It doesn't particularly matter what we call it, but it's always interesting to hear how the different lineages call things. Let's go ahead, set your left foot down, open up your arms nice and wide, inhale, and then as we exhale, both of our knees will come over to the right. So just taking kind of a internal rotation sort of twist. We can keep the gaze up or we can knock the gaze over the left fingertips. Whatever feels good for your neck right now, go for that. Knees come back up to the sky. And then as we exhale, both of our legs are going to fall over towards the left. We're going to stamp our right foot down and then just give a little bit of pressure into that right leg just to keep it opening. We should feel this through the outside edge of the thigh. We could send our gaze over our right fingertips or up towards the sky. Let's come back through center. Send that leg up, 
and then we'll take it back down. We'll just switch. So left leg comes up, flex the foot, cross the ankle over the thigh. We can stay right here, just a little bit of pressure into that left thigh, or we can interlace our fingers behind the right thigh, maybe in front of the right shin, squeeze in nice and tight. We can stay steady. We can invite a little bit of movement. Notice the subtle differences between the two sides. From here, we're going to set the foot down, open up the arms, inhale. As we exhale, both of our knees can fall over to the left. A little bit of internal rotation. Back up through center, inhale. As we exhale, let's go to the other side. We can give a little pressure into our left thigh, pressing it away from us, left sole of the foot onto the ground. Let's come back through center, send the left leg up to the sky, plant it down, take both of the knees into the chest, we'll look towards our knees, let's invite some rocks forward and back. We're going to make our way all the way towards down dog, so it doesn't really matter how we get there, but we're going to make our way there. We'll go ahead and meet in our down dog. We can walk our dog a little bit as we're here just to release any tension through the back of the legs, through the hamstrings, really the whole back line of fascia. All right, let's inhale, lift the right leg up and back. Exhale, open up in the hip, bend the knee, downward facing scorpion. Try to square off through the shoulders, pull the left hip crease back. Inhale, square off through the hips. Exhale, draw the knee into the chest. Plant the foot down in between the palms. Go ahead and tent up onto the fingertips. Slide the back foot back as much as you need. Drop the hips down. Keep the back knee lifted. Inhale, pull the chest forward. Exhale, start to straighten out that front leg as straight as we can get it, almost like a wide pyramid pose. Inhale, bend into the knee. Pull the chest forward. Exhale, push it back. Straighten out the leg. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale, hold, three breaths. Try to firm through the inner thighs, almost like we're trying to scissor our heels together. Good, let's go ahead, inhale, bend through that front knee, plant the hands down, shoot the front foot to the back, exhale, downward dog. Good. Inhale, left leg reaches up and back. Exhale, open up in the hip, bend in the knee, downward facing scorpion. Try to keep those shoulders squared off. Pull the right hip creep back. Inhale, square off through the hips. Exhale, draw the knee into the chest. Plant the foot down in between the palms. Let's tent up onto the fingertips. Slide the back leg back so we have plenty of room. Inhale to drop the hips, reach the chest forward. Exhale, straighten out the front leg, fold. Inhale, reach. Exhale, back and fold. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. This time we stay here. We can walk our hands back just a little bit if we need it. Try to pull your right hip forward, your left hip back, a little bit of squaring off through the hips. And three breaths. We have about two left. Good, bend back into the front knee, plant the hands down, scoop that front foot back, send it to the back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Very good. From here, let's go ahead and drop down to our knees. We're just gonna step our right leg forward this time. Slide the back knee back as much as you need to so you have plenty of room. We're almost done here. So we're gonna inhale to our lunge. Exhale, press the hips back, half split. 
Inhale, come back towards your lunge. Exhale, press open your right knee. A little bit of a funky pigeon here. Inhale, back in towards center. Exhale, press it back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, press it open. Inhale to center. Good. So like that. Exhale. Inhale, forward. Exhale, open. Inhale, center. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, open. Inhale, center. Exhale, press it back. Let's hold here. Slide the hands more so underneath your shoulders. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale to bow. Try to pull your left hip forward, right hip back. Good, let's come forward, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, big step to the top this time. Inhale for a halfway lift, exhale to fold. Go ahead, step the right leg back, settle the back knee down. So we're gonna wanna slide that back knee back as far as possible so that we have plenty of room in our hips. So inhale to draw the chest forward, exhale to press the hips back, half split. Inhale to draw yourself forward. Exhale to press the hip open, funky pigeon. Inhale to center. Exhale, press it back. Inhale forward. Exhale open. Inhale forward or center. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale open. Inhale center. Exhale back. Last one. Inhale forward, exhale open. Inhale center, exhale and back. Walk the hands more so underneath your shoulders. Inhale for a halfway lift here. Exhale to bow. Right hip forward, left hip back. Inhale, take it forward, hands plant. Let's just step the foot back, take the toes together, knees apart, press it back, child's pose. Feel free to stay in this child's pose for however long your body needs. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.